Hey guys, how's it going? What if Fusion Trunks revived the Z Warriors? Now, this is a uh, topic request by uh, Yvonne Stallings. And, uh, you know, it's funny, this is something that I've always uh, wondered myself, and uh, I'm sure a lot of uh, Dragon Ball fans have also wondered about, like, why Fusion Trunks never uh, revived any of the other uh, Z Warriors. Now, uh, personally, I think this would have to take place after Trunks beats the androids in the cell for obvious reasons. You know, he doesn't have time to do it before that. Now, in order to get to that point, you'd probably have to ask King Kai where uh, Planet Namek is. And a lot of people will say, like, uh, King Kai wouldn't answer him. I don't believe that because he hasn't even met King Kai, so I'm sure he would know about him after meeting Goku. And that's how Goku found Planet Namek. He pretty much asked King Kai where it was. And, you know, Goku also used uh, instant transmission to sort of feel out where uh, the Mechians were. I also think that uh, Future Chunks would especially want to revive Gohan, if nothing else, because I think Gohan, of all the Z Warriors, would be the biggest help to him. Uh, although he's significantly weaker at this time since he didn't receive time chamber training. Trunks would be much stronger than Gohan, but I do think over the years Gohan would narrow the gap a little bit, especially if he trained with Trunks specifically. Anyway, once they uh, go to Namek, then they would have to uh, obviously use their Dragon Balls because the ones on Earth uh, don't work because, you know, in this timeline, Piccolo doesn't fuse the Kami and hence <laughs> they lose the Dragon Balls because Piccolo dies, hence Kami dies. So, they would revive all the fallen Z Warriors, but one thing to note is that even if Trunks wanted to, he can't revive Goku. And the reason is because Goku uh, died from a heart virus, and technically a heart virus is considered a, uh, a uh, natural cause. Uh, like, the way Dragon Ball defines natural causes is like dying from either old age or from sickness or what have you. Well, if it's a natural illness or sickness. But if you die from a other, let's say, person or what have you, then it's an unnatural death. Also, of course, I think at least at the prospect of reviving Gohan, Dende would probably agree to come with them to Earth to be the new guardian. Especially since he probably knows, uh, you know, the Earthlings the best out of all of them. And he sort of, uh, he was basically, uh, I think he's the one that volunteered to go to Earth uh, anyway. So, uh, I, so if they were revived, then obviously they would want to return back to Earth to try to begin training again to prepare for the next threat. And, uh, <laughs> like, although she wasn't shown in the Future Chunks timeline because obviously she wasn't conceived yet, uh, I think that we'd probably see future Videl. <laughs> that would actually be interesting though, like I always thought like what future Videl would look like, what her experience would be, and whether or not she'd still fall in love with Gohan. Uh, I think the, the thing, them meeting was somewhat circumstantial though, so they probably wouldn't have met each other, but that's just, that's just me speculating about it. Also I think after a few years, Trunks will become a Super Saiyan too, because like, he already got the boost that he needed from the time chamber training, which is how Gohan became a Super Saiyan 2. Like, without that, he wouldn't have become strong enough to become a Super Saiyan 2. Now, uh, after a few years of training and, you know, the Earth probably pretty much being at peace, uh, I still think that Bobbity would arrive. Now, sure, this would be later than in the main timeline, but he would arrive because the Earth would have rebuilt itself. And uh, at this point, the Earth, despite Future Chunks being the strongest, he's, the Earth still, I think, has the greatest concentration of uh, of power levels right now. Obviously, not we're not counting Bills and Weiss, but <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, in general, uh, the Earth has the greatest concentration of power, considering Frieza was considered the strongest in the universe, and you know, at this point, Future Chunks is way stronger than Frieza. And uh, I remember hearing that 
Bobbity felt Gohan's, or they detected Gohan's power level, and that's one of the reasons why they came to Earth. And that was during the Cell Saga. So, at a certain point, I think Trunks would probably uh, equal or surpass Gohan's power level after constant training. So, so uh, after a few years, I think that Bobbity would uh, still appear, as would. You know, Pui Pui, Yakon, Deborah, and such. And uh, they would confront them, and because Future Strongs doesn't like to take chances, and because, you know, Goku's not alive, uh, to, you know, even risk Vegeta becoming Majin, uh, I think that they would probably uh, kill Pui Pui, Yakon, Deborah, and uh, Bobbity before they even release Boo. But for the sake of argument, let's say that Boo were released. Well, they don't have many options <laughs> because uh, Trunks wouldn't be a Super Saiyan 3 because it took Goku training in the afterlife for seven years to become a Super Saiyan 3. And even then, uh, there were certain forms of Boo that he wasn't able to beat. And uh, <clears throat> like, I think that they would still meet the Kais though if you know Bobbity and the others came to Earth. So the only possible way I can conceive of Trunks and Z Warriors beating. Boo, after he's being released, is uh, if they were to fuse. And even then, like, they couldn't do the fusion dance because Goku learned that in the afterlife, too. So that's funny. <laughs> so, perhaps after being beaten by Boo, uh, maybe Trunks and, and Gohan are uh, possibly taken to uh, Supreme Kai World. Maybe they have Gohan or Trunks training uh, with the Z Sword and they. And if they were to break it, now I know this is a lot of speculation, but if they break it and Elder Kai pops out again, and maybe he agrees to release either Fusion Strunks or Gohan's hidden power. Or, or if not that, then at least use the Fusion Earrings, because I am convinced that uh, with the Earrings, uh, let's say if Trunks and Gohan were to fuse, <laughs> I think that would be pretty cool though, but... Chunks and Gohan were the fuse that they could definitely beat at least Fat Boo. So to me, that would be the only chance they would have for beating them. And of course, the other Z Warriors wouldn't be able to do much, as they weren't able to do much in the main timeline, except for you know Goku and Vegeta, and at times Mr. Gohan. Uh, also, I think Bills and Whis wouldn't appear because you know uh, Goku's already dead, so <laughs> they probably just like. Even if they found out that Goku was still alive, they'd probably just like write it off or something. So, just mention that in case you guys were wondering. Like, I don't think that, like, I think that Bobbity and and Deborah and the others would come to Earth, but I don't think Bills and Whis would. At least not unless Trunks became uh, much stronger, or if Goku became, if uh, Goku was revived somehow. <laughs> but like I said, uh, due to the way both sets of Dragon Balls work, you know, the Namekian and the Earth Dragon Balls, it would be impossible to revive uh, Goku if he died of a natural death. So anyway, that's been my video, so uh, see you guys later. Like this video? If so, then click on the annotations on screen to go to some of my other videos. I mostly like to do topics on Dragon Ball, but I'm open to some other topics as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoy watching these videos as I enjoy making them, and I hope to see you soon with some more videos. Until then, see you later.